Hello, and welcome to the pet room. David Bradley here. I have had a thought. I have. Oops. Well, I think what I'm going to do is, if I can do it, and I think I can, I'm going to give a go at putting A 6540 chip back into this machine, which I don't think is going to make any difference. But I will make sure that the RAM chips are good. Now, why do I think this will make a difference? I don't know. RAM chips make the world go around. But they do. Okay. So the 6540 is in. Here are two good 65 RAM chips, sorry, 6550, from Dusty, Rusty, and Krusty. So I'm going to dump them out of the bag. And you know what? I really don't think this is going to make any difference because the screen that comes up is so awful and so terrible. And also, there are so many more RAM chips that could be causing troubles here. But I just have to try. And now the RAM chips are stuck. Okay. So. Bad RAM. Good RAM. Oh, okay. You know what? I... Uh, you know what? I'm going to just put two different ones in. Just for fun. I know the one on the left was okay. I know it. Okay, come on. Okay. Is that in? That's in. So, two different chips. And I know this is hard to see. It's hard for me to see what I'm doing here. And I think I'm screwing it up. Okay. Okay. So we are populated. And I believe we still have the power plugged in. I'm going to turn this on. And I'm probably going to see the same mess. And indeed, I see the same mess. And when I push on this chip, it does not seem to be doing the same as what it did. This is peculiar. Oh well, I had to try. I did. Well, I gotta turn this off. I do. Oh, you know what? I think I doofed a pin. Something doesn't feel right back there. It's very easy. To doof a pin when you're reaching in the back of a pit. Not that that would make a whole lot of difference, because it's still doing the same thing. I did. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn. Okay, I can't. I need to really use my little pliers on this. I don't know if you can see this, but that pin is really scorched. Damn it! Okay, well that certainly isn't going to help things work any better. Alright, I'm going to update this bag because I'm going to have to see about unbending that. It's a bad bend. Oh, glass is falling. Bent pin. Grr. That is bothersome. Oh, let's see here. I want to take this thing and look in here. Let's see. Does it look like the socket has damage? And it doesn't. Right. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to do something wild here. I'm going to take out this chip from this machine. It should be the same as that. If I can, why is it not coming out? What's going on here? Okay, I'm up here. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay, look at the pins closely. They all look okay. This is really in a bad position. I, this may be foolish. Anyway, I'm going to try to go in the back position. I'll line up the back pins first. Okay, the back pins are lined up. The front pins are lined up. How are we going in? We're in. Let me feel. It feels okay. Is this going to make any difference? I would suspect it will not. Oh, yeah. It's still squirrely. And now it's kind of back to the normal where I push on it. So once again, this could be a socket thing. Okay. Hopefully, I can save. The bent pin. Okay. I'm going to take this out. And inspect and say, oh yeah, they're all good. So... Now, did I have a bag for this? I don't think so. That's okay. Now, the other thing I should do, because a bunch of these other chips are also 6540s, I should look at this. So it's a 6540 Where are the bags? All right. All right, sixty five forty. Zero one zero two eight seven eight a two eight seven eight a blue. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. So I have a couple of chips that need pin unbending. I do have tiny little pliers that help with that. But anyway, this chip will also go right there. Okay, so here we have some bad RAM from Dusty, Rusty, and Krusty. Oh. I am pondering. I am pondering my next move. Well, I think firstly, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to lift this up, and I'm going to continue my search for that RAM in this machine, because even though now I know the screen RAM chips are okay, there could be something else here that is happening. There could be. All right, so check the pins. 
check the witness mark. The machine is off. Brown chip out. Witness mark at the bottom. Pins are looking good. Secondary glasses, not quite as strong as others are on. Almost put it in backwards. Almost. Check the pins. Line it up carefully. Push it in. Visual inspection. Turn it off. Okay. That went well. Good. Okay, and I have a bag here. I put the good ones in to the screen ram there. I have a bag for more good, crusty, dusty, rusty, and crusty. Okay. Out we go. Okay. Good. Get in the bag. Pop out another, oh, another chip. With great care. Going from both ends. Just a little bit. That helps pins from getting bent. Okay, looking good. We are not lined up properly. We are now lined up properly. Visual inspection. Turn it on. And we have another good friendship. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay. Now, another ram chip. This one is putting up. It's funny, the one side is sticking badly. Looking good. Witness mark, pins, line it up. Pop it in. Visual inspection. Turn it on. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And indeed, that is not good. It puts on an interesting show. But it's not good. All right. So, another bad chip. And I will double check to make sure that indeed the the feet are not, oh, sorry, the legs are not damaged. Into the bad bag it goes. So we've now got three from Dusty, Rusty, and Crusty. All right, let's go for another. And these ones, they are putting up a fight like they've been in there. For a very, very long time. And this one is really not wanting to come out. Okay. But it is out. The pins look okay. We'll one it up carefully. 
but that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Okay. Come on. What's going on here? Okay. Visual inspection. Turn it on. Okay. We have a good ram chip. Good stuff. Very good. So, we're not doing badly here. We are not. I think in some ways I should have left the 6540 weird chip in there. So I could periodically crank it up and see if any of these bad RAM chips made a difference. But oh well. So yeah, anyway. As I have done some things, it is always a good time to put the original RAM chip back in with great care. No, that's not it. Digital inspection. Turn it on. Oh, whoa, 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 what do we got here? Okay, hold on here. Hold on here. What do we got? Oh, dear. I believe we have a witness mark violation. I hope that that has not toasted this chip. Let's try that again. Please, Lord, let it be okay. And it is. Yes, you must be careful. Check the pins. Double check the witness mark. Triple check the witness mark. Make sure everything is just dandy. So, I think what I'm going to do now is lower the boom. Say, print. You may have seen this before. World of Commodore space put semicolon colon go to ten. I have done this before, you see. And there it is. So I think what I'm gonna do is leave this thing running just to make sure it's all good. Although really, should I? I don't know. I mean, if it's going to fail, I'd like to see that it fails, but I really don't want it to fail. Anyway, I guess I'll leave it running, and then I will continue and see what else I can do. I really should look for my little pliers so that I can see about correcting the... Uh, uh, the bent chips. I know kind of where they are. They were over at the table where I was working on the 1571s that I became discouraged with when a trace ripped off. And, but then other things changed in the world. Anyway. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. We will see you again soon in the pet room. Where I think we're making progress. Certainly we are isolating difficulties. Have a lovely, lovely day. Thanks so much for coming. Bye for now.